Test, test, test. Let's check. Boom. Test, test. Hey, the silent commentary. <laughs> no, I wasn't muted. For some reason, Spotify changed my uh, standard input device into some weird sequence uh, of string of numbers rather than my Yeti mic. So I'm just going to pause here. Hi, everybody. Hi, round two. Uh, let me know if you guys can hear and see me. I'll wait for the chat to respond. And I'll go ahead and start over, which is to say that uh, we're going to be taking a look at the Flesh Eater Courts uh, preview that we got today, talk about some of the narrative threads that we were given. There we go. Thank you guys so much. It was... Um, Steam Labs is, is what I... Stream Labs is what I use to broadcast my signal, and for some reason, it was just acting real weird. But anyway, now that we're back in... Uh, I'm going to go through the article first, uh, give my thoughts on it, and then switch over to playing some games. And that's kind of when the Q&A can stuff can really begin. Um, that's also probably where I'll talk more about the actual Dawnbringers lore surrounding Flesh Eater Court. So let's talk about the article that came out today, why I decided to throw on the camera. Court is in season. All rise for the Honorable Grand Justice Gormain. I love it. Still better than a lot of the Supreme Court justices we have. All right, in a land of grand and progressive as the as the territories of the regal Summeros Summer King, interesting name, it is never enough for justice to be decided simply on a whim, left in the hands of fallible and feuding aristocrats. The Lord of Masks ever aspires to higher and more noble ideals and so demands a legal system that serves his people without fear or favor. That is in incredible um so in their perception of their own delusion they are absolutely wanting to be reasonable just people i love it um czar 94 sadly can't watch this as i'm about to get on a plane looking forward to watching it after though thank you so much buddy uh and next time you're in the chat throw out a topic and we'll talk about that or chat about that so everyone who throws a tip in the tip jar gets to direct the conversation for a bit them's the rules okay Back to our article. Just as those noble sentinels who bear the title of Gore Warden, which is a miniature we've already had, uh, dutifully protect the borders of these blessed lands, so too must the Grand Justice safeguard the nation from within, upholding the spirit of civility, reason, and decency with even-handed judgments. Okay. And we're going to go look at this. Scrolling down, like I said, for those of you who are driving... Uh, scrolling down here. The Grand Justice Gormain is the respected incumbent of this vital post. To convey accurately the qualities possessed by this most learned individual require almost as many volumes as nearly cataloged within his great library of jurisdictions. I think I nailed that. I've never seen that word in print. Okay. Uh, he is a judge, yes, but he's also a keen scholar with a proficient understanding of the strange elder tongues in which the new Summercoat's ancient codes of law were once inscribed. That makes me think that he can read English <laughs> or whatever, you know, like their language. Um, those are the crazy inscribed things because everything else is just jagged blood scrawls, which is awesome. Um, no mere bookish laureate. Gourmet is also an insp uh, inspiring rhetoric. Oh man, this is a hard one for me. Ours are a tough one. Rhetorician. Um, in the halls of New Summer Court, the domains of distant lords, and even the field of war, he delivers stern proclamations divined from the fundamental precepts that underpin the kingdom's constitutions. Thus, the Grand Justice ensures that those who transgress are harshly reproved. Their fate is, alas, a necessary example, the price of law and order. Ooh. Um, we have one little thing of lore left. Such weighty responsibilities must surely take their toll. And there are those who question Gourmain's fitness to serve as the Summer King's chief magistrate, or even his sanity. Whispered sightings abound of his eminence, expressing sudden revulsion at the fine delicacies of royal banquet, or being taken by long brooding silences over the course of an important trial. Um, and then they basically say like, hey, there's a bunch of cool stuff coming out and they give you the preview dates for when they're going to reveal stuff. I'm assuming we're going to have a ton more details come, uh, what, Saturday it looks like? 
well, oh, that's right. They spread it out over a few things. So, um, I don't know which day it's going to be, but by the end of the weekend, we'll, we'll have hopefully flesh eater quartz panned out. So let's take a look at this model. First of all, he's wearing what looks like intestines that are lapped around to be like a judge's robe, like the big frilly hair. Um, his law books, I'm pretty sure what they're going for is that these are actually law documents that in his craziness, he can both read them and then also discern what they've quote unquote wrote with the blood sigils and stuff like that all scrabbled in. And um, this is actually a thing. He represents an idea that we have not had in Flesh Eater Courts, and that is the idea of internal law and order. It took me a second to realize those were intestines, but yes, once you see the Eds. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here, and I'm going to switch to playing some games, and we're going to chat all about Flesh Eater Courts. So let's start with the article and kind of move out from there. Um, starting off with what we see on this guy. Love, love, love the idea of basically featuring the internal mindset as well, because what kind of law and order do they really experience, right? I don't know, but that's super cool to think about. Like, I got nothing. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got to move this so I can actually see the chat. Pardon me, everybody. Let me turn the volume down here for just a smidge. This guy is definitely the new front line in the battle between people who went dark fantasy W. If you want silly satire. Oh, yeah, he's a fantastic. That's a that's a great way to put it, actually. Um, take care, Hugh. Lindsay Steen, I... I want them to give a fleshier quartz and a nice centerpiece with a good with the Summer King writing it. Oh, that could be rad. Yeah, I'd love to see uh, something about that. So, okay, there's not much to go on with this article, right? I think that's pretty fair for us all to agree on. Let's talk about Flesh Eater Courts in general, okay? Um, I'm assuming we're not going to get too many more depictions of, like, uh, internal stuff. I, I think this guy is kind of an outlier. I'm not sure about that. But I'm curious as to what other things we would have. Um, hmm... Code book our clarent wants in the hand of a sultride south wall in Balmora. Find find that code book and bring it back to me. Sultide in the south wall of Balmora. All right, we're off. For me personally, the flesh eater courts have always been cool because I, I I want to represent a culture that thinks that they're good, right? I mean, and not just not just like Bretonian good where they think they're clean and civil, but like I like when my enemies are morally trying to do the right thing actively. Um, and the idea of like having this whole system of law and order and justice is just, it fits right into that, I think, pretty well. Now, regarding the rest of the faction, I have no idea what the Summer King is because, you know, I know vaguely of Ushorin, which um, if someone can correct me in the chat, please do. My understanding, because I'm not an old world guy, is that Ushoran was one of the original like OG vampires, or at least an older one, not, not an OG. Um, that would have been Tomb Kings-esque era. But an older vampire that was kind of this, is it Strigoi, where they're kind of like the, the hunchback creatures, basically the ghoul kings as we know them now. Um, can someone confirm that for me? I have, it's kind of where my knowledge runs out, is that he's one of those, and he was a servant um, code book. All right. Yeah, we just had to bribe her a little bit. All right. I made so much money killing those agents in the last one. I'm totally fine with doing that. I am curious as to how they're going to divvy up the allegiance abilities and commands because honestly I haven't played them <sighs> I haven't played them he was apparently a beautiful vampire that served the undead god oh I know who um I know 
Ushoran story in AOS. I can go over that. I just meant like in the old world. I know it's a thing that existed back then. Um, but somehow got Nagash angry. <laughs> well, the story we have it right now, as far as their origins. Let's take a look at this code book. What you got? Hmm. All right. Sufficiently coded. Orders. Deliver the debt money. Runs a corner club in Syrian. She owes money. One of our clients, 200 septums. Bring the money to me and I'll let you keep half of it. All right. Sure, and it is. I'm curious how they're going to work out the different sub factions. Um, the origin of the faction, or the story rather, is that there was one of the three OG vampires in AOS, um, Manfred Neferata, and then Arkham, but he's not really a vampire, he's more of a lich. And then um, Ushoran. Ushoran was brought forward and. Again, I don't know if they're going to like retroactively change this or what, I don't know. But the story that we have so far is that he thought himself quite beautiful and handsome and that he somehow ticked off Nagash. Um, isn't it? No, I wasn't trying to strike him down at any particular point. I was trying to think of what he actually did, but I don't know if that was made clear. Tell me that. Helvian and so. Oh, over your eyes, children. We're going into that earthly house of pleasures. Oh, here she is. Hmm. Open early blackmailer. I want to find a way. Oh. Well, it's trying to find a way to blackmail her, but it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Personality. A lot of strength. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Tong, asking for this money for my safety. Right, she is in debt to the Kamanatong. Robin Man Killer video games? Yeah, just a little bit. I'll tell you what, we'll pause this. And I'll do some painting.